So I love these red bands because we can do it without loading up and using the wrist and elbow and striking, okay? Just put them right on the rack right here, and it gives a great sensation, okay, of striking low to high. And here's Garrett Carroll. He's a right guard, let's say, setting that three technique. He's going to go high-low, 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 high-low. The guy counters, okay? We're going to flatten him out. High-low, 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 okay? Love the red, these lighter red bands. Next progression of this is we're going to use a waterfall drill. Okay, obviously we're without pads, so we're going to use shields. How we're holding the shields is very important to me. Okay, you notice how we're holding them? On the body. Okay, got a couple pet peeves in this world. Okay, my number one pet peeve, and I like it out here on the west side of Michigan because it's a lot of Michigan lefts. Okay, not too many left hand turn lanes. But my number one pet peeve in this life is the left hand turn lane. The son of a bitch in the, in the front, right? The arrow turns green, and what do they do? They're on their phone, whatever, and they kind of mosey through the light. Well, I'm six cars back, and then it's yellow and it's red, and I don't get through the damn light. That's my number one pet peeve in this world. Okay, my number two pet peeve is at the gas pump, right? Cheap gas in town, so everyone's lined up at the gas station. And Johnny Fatass, he pumps his gas, and then what's he do? Goes in and gets his big gulp and his, his snacks, and then comes back out and drives his car away. Pump your gas, move your damn car so the next car can come out. That's the second pet peeve. Third pet peeve is holding the hand shield through these little handles. All right? Some of them I actually took the handles off. Right? Because they hit that thing, where's it going? All over the place. Okay? You don't feel anything. You don't feel a body. The other trouble is, is a lot of these hand shields are so big and so rigid, they don't mimic a human body. Okay? So I went to Fisher. Fisher makes one that's it's a used pad, actually. It's really light. It's not very firm, and I can mold it to my body. You can see these guys are holding it, one hand low, one hand high, so I can strike high low, but it becomes part of their body, okay? So a little segue there, but I think that's really important. All right, so again, we're starting to put some things together. We're using a strike, high hand, low hand, all right? Change in tempo, right? There's a really good strike, high hand, low hand. You can see... A 310 pound guy, that shoulder turns a little bit, breaking rotational leverage, okay, and then holding this line in the slide side, let's say right here. Okay? Now we'll use this drill for a lot of different things. We'll use it on the slide side when we get to the scheme part of it. Okay, on the, we call it the waterfall or the domino drill. Okay, here's Joe Linden. Really good picture here. He hits him right in the swoosh, see what happens to his shoulder. Turns that shoulder, that 319 pound man just became 160 pounds. Okay? Really good picture there. He misses a little bit. We do a ton of refit stuff, get it right back inside. All right, a couple pictures of this now, okay? All right, watching the left guard right here, Jake Kahani out of Cadillac, Michigan, uh, second team all-conference guy. If I had him for a couple more years, to be All-American. Okay, hell of a player right here, okay? But he's setting 40, and again, don't worry about the scheme yet. He's setting 40 in odd protection. Okay, watch his inside hand, his right hand. All right, he strikes it, and what's 40 do? Immediately turns. Now, Forty was a hell of a football player. He was a transfer portal guy, right? He's a Division One football player. Actually, he might get—I don't know if he's going to get drafted, but he played a bunch of those All-Star games this winter, all right? But you can see right there, it turns his shoulder by just simply going one-two, right? He broke his rotational leverage. Okay, gets him in a perfect position. Now, okay, now they're just going to hand fight on the scrimmage. We're in really good shape. Okay, it's a really good picture of the one-two strike. All right, now, yeah, I'll put this one on here too because we get a little slide side sauce right here, the waterfall drill, the dominoes. Okay, put the sauce on the rib cage. I came over here to, to talk to you about that too. Like all these people right here, like they're not impressed with this. Like they, they get excited, watch them. We get the first down and they start cheering. Like, son of a gun, man, this is what's. Like, cheer! That's good <laughs> shit! What are we doing? It doesn't get the people going, all right? It gets us going. All right. Really good picture here in the two hands, okay? Here's Garrett Carroll blocking the loose three technique. Carrying his hands apart. Watch what 40 does or 45 does. He goes after those hands. He gets one of them, but what's he, what doesn't he get? Doesn't get both of them. All right? You get a little bit of a lunge, all right? It, it gets Garrett off the, the big butt, big chest just for a second, but now he's right back into it. He can put that hand right back on. I guarantee if Garrett had his hand set right here and he got him, what would happen? Right? He would be knocked right down, got the arm over, and here we go. Okay? I really like this, too. Again, a change-up right here. 
we got a loose nine technique. All right, we're going to go out and jump them. All right, close that space, get on them, all that stuff. 72, again, does a great job. Goes one, two, now he's going to use the inside hand first, one, two. All right, gets the guy in great position right there. Okay, uh, what do we got here? All right, cue on the jump set. We'll watch JD right here. Watch the one, two. He's going to change it up now. See how he goes inside hand first, inside outside. Complete pad control, okay? Q over here does a great job with the jump set. Okay, yeah, 76 center. Okay, snap hand, but he's got some, he's got some space. Going outside hand, inside hand. Again, 45 is going after those hands, isn't he? He gets his outside hand, but we've got a really good job getting the left hand on. Gives us time to get the outside hand back in there. Okay, <clears throat> all right. Uh, Right here, JD, the patient hands now. Okay? So he's been getting hands on, getting hands on. Now he's going to use what we call a hand flash. All right? So we just one hand flash. He's going to flash the outside hand. What's the defender do? Shows us his pass rush move. Oh, thank you. Here's my chest plate. All right, ends up finishing him in the, into the turf. Really good block right there. Okay? Uh, good picture here. I I'm not, don't have time to get in the center, but it's a really good what we call drive pull by the center. Okay, the center is up in front of the guards, right? So to create that space, he can't just go on this angle. So we call it a drive pull, where he's actually going to drive back and on that angle to get on the same level or angle of his guard. Okay, so it's really good drive pull by our center right there. <laughs> okay. Um, again, JD, some patient hands here, 74, the right tackle. All right, as so you watch it. Okay, so there it goes. Doesn't really flash him this time, all right? Just kind of gives that hand. Defender again goes to his pass rush move and then boom, I got a great, great hand surface to get on his hands. Okay? Here's the other thing, okay, and we're gonna get into this when we get to the scheme. All right? But look at the dish pocket piece of this. How far the DNs are away from our quarterback. Okay, so this system with the vertical set will never get pressed and compressed into the cube. Alright? Creating those clean pockets. <clears throat> 